Hey everyone, it's Christian Girl Kelly and if you're watching this video around Halloween time or it's Halloween right now or even if it's not, um, this video is just a little short uh, reminder about uh, something that's very common around this time of year that people are thinking of. And this is not a video about whether you should or shouldn't celebrate Halloween as a Christian or whatever, right? This is not the video. Um, but one thing that is sure about this particular holiday, at least the way our culture interprets it, is that it is about fear, right? So people are buying costumes, they're getting their candy, there are a lot of activities for kids and for adults. People do a lot of things typically at night during this holiday and um, they go to haunted houses and all kind of carnival type games if you're going to a group even churches they'll have the hallelujah fest on uh, this particular night or at some point um, during the week of halloween there's a lot of stuff that happens right a harvest fest um, but one thing that our culture really embraces is fear and so the idea is that this night is a night that you want to be afraid you want to be spooked or scared by something. And um, if you go to a haunted house, for example, typically when you walk in, you know, the first thing you notice is that it is pitch black. It is dark. Another thing that a lot of them do is make sure that the atmosphere is quite cold. And so it's going to be cold if you go to a haunted house. It's going to be dark. And there is the anticipation that behind every door, uh, around every turn, uh, if you're looking up or you're looking down and looking all the way around, something might jump out and uh, attack you or try to get you to scream uh, to scare you. And that's kind of even the things that we we put on, right? The uh, costumes sometimes um, are sweet and little angels and little fairies and, you know, um, all the little cartoon characters that are popular at that time but also the scary costumes, right? That, those are the ones. And then there are lots of movies, right? The movie industry pretty much always has a Halloween movie or a scary movie around this time of the year. Fear, the goal is to invoke fear and terror and horror and to spook um, and to kind of shake you up in some way. And is it healthy? Is it healthy? Well, I'm just gonna share this with you because even if it's not that time of the year, this is something that happens to us naturally um, as humans. And I say naturally with a little asterisk because uh, it's natural because we live in a fallen flesh-driven world um, that we're attacked by fear. All of us are at some point of our lives, uh, fearful of something, whether it be judgment, um, by other people or we're fearful that we will not um, be healed in the way that we're hoping to be healed. We're fearful um, if people are, if you're trying to have children, we're fearful maybe we won't um, have children or we have some complications um, and uh, we're not sure if we'll be able to have children. Uh, I'm fearful that I might not get married, you know, uh, I'm at a certain age and I don't know where this person is. Um, I'm fearful that I might not get the raise, that I might not pass this particular class. There's so many things that we um, get fearful about. But here is the reminder. And back when I was a kid, we would sing this song. We would sing this song in church, okay? And it went, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but the Lord has given us power and that was like our song like we would sing this song all the time that was like our song most requested um the church loved it right and then the idea was that we as kids we had a little dance to it stir up the we would stir up the gift right um it was a really fun song but the the thing that it planted in my spirit from a very young age is that god did not give us fear Fear is not something that he wants for us as his children. Um, those of us who are his children, who have accepted him, it's not something that we should, we should hold on to, um, no matter what the circumstance is. Um, and so the scripture tells us in 2 Timothy that God really did not give us a spirit of fear, uh, but power, love, and a sound mind, right? Power to overcome 
love to to guard in our hearts towards other people no matter how they're treating us and a sound mind a stable mind a mind um, that is fixed upon god um, no matter what the circumstance is so if you are the type who likes terror and fear and you like horror movies and you like you know this time of the year where there's a lot of emphasis on fear then hey that's what you like um but no matter what season you're in no matter what it is that you might be going through, um, whether you have put yourself in it or it's coming towards you, God does not give us fear. So if you are at any uh, point fearful in your life, remember that it's a foreign thing. It's not something that we should hold on to. In our faith, our eyes fixed on him, our hearts, Full of love and our power the power the same power that raised Jesus from the dead for those who are saved is in us that power that power is what he's given us that love that sound mind so embrace that it's Christian girl Kelly see you next time so God has not given us a spirit of fear but the Lord has given us ah ah power. God has not given us no 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 no. That was the tenor's part right there. That it was it was a bomb song. You should look it up. Preferably the version that my church sang because I think we sung it amazingly. Um, but in any case, it's a good song, right? And a good message. <laughs>